All right, let's refinish up this problem here. Um, so we've got this H value, which we could get by just doing the heats of formation whole equation summation of the products minus reactants and the S value in the same way. But what I want to talk about here is like the G and what it kind of means and how we can calculate it. So we know that if G is negative, that means it's a spontaneous reaction. It'll happen on its own. If you have to put a lot of heat into something um, and it really orders things up, that's not going to happen on its own. The law of the universe wants everything to go towards random, which is usually an exothermic reaction that has um, a lot of entropy to it. So how can we get reactions that happen that have a high amount of enthalpy, like a positive value here or a lot of order? We do it because both of the two come together. So let's look at this reaction here. I want to solve for the change in G or the free energy. So my change in G equals change in H, that's this number down here, 62. Notice that's in kilojoules per mole of reaction. And this S is in joules. And that's going to happen like every time. So we got to make sure that they're both in the same part. I think it's easiest if I put all of them into kilojoules. So I'm going to have to take this joules number of the S and move it into kilojoules. That means I'm going to take the decimal place and move over to 1, 2, 3. So this is 0.368 kilojoules per Kelvin times mole of reaction. That's going to be a lot easier. So I've got my H is 62 minus T and then my change in S. My change in S is going to be that 0.368. Now my T part is going to be the temperature and really a problem could just tell you what the temperature is, but I'm going to say this is at room temperature. So 22 degrees Celsius is about room temperature. And I know that the temperature in Celsius plus 273 will always equal the temperature in Kelvin. So I've got to get this into the Kelvin system, always into the Kelvin system here. So if my temperature is 22, 22 plus 273 is going to give me my temperature in Kelvin, which looks like to be 295. I'm going to put 295 right here. And then all i got to do is push buttons in my calculator. So I like to do 295 times 0.368. I hit enter. And then I'll do 62 minus that answer. You can do it however you want, but in the end, I got it to be negative 46.56, and that'll be in kilojoules per mole of reaction. Now, per mole of reaction, you can have it or not have it. Um, it kind of debates whether you want to have that units on there or not. It depends who you talk to. But what that means is I've got a negative value here, which means that, yes, this reaction right here, as big as it is, will spontaneously happen. Um, it's a really cool ex reaction actually if you do it in person but it spontaneously has white stuff and white stuff mixed together and two solids mixing together is really kind of a neat reaction that doesn't always happen but this one does because it's negative value and that's what the gibbs free energy tells you